of your own terminal, right next to your own armchair. There'll be no more letter post, no more newspapers, no more libraries. But how realistic are these predictions? Rex Malik. What you've just seen tempts me to say, welcome to the electronic global village. Indeed, I'm also tempted to say welcome to the electronic global office. But first, a word of warning. The electronic global village is different, but it's not all different. Computers are additional. They don't supplant what came before. They extend rather than constrict. I doubt an end to books and paper. I do see their role changing. I doubt the paperless office. Uh, I observe that... Uh, Paper is what people prefer to read. Show me an office that doesn't need paper, and you probably also show me an office that doesn't even really need people. Uh, if you'll excuse the pun, you could foresee there the people-less office. I doubt that. I think that's an illusion. The truth is that we need the office or something similar. We need somewhere to fight, to argue, to discuss, to compete. That's the nature of the beast, and that's what offices are for. All that electronics do is extend the scope of the action. So you have problems with the office next door? Well, just wait. I can see you having similar problems in the 80s, but with offices in Tokyo, San Francisco, London, Melbourne. As I say, welcome to the electronic village.